Hey folks, it's Pat here. Welcome back to my train channel. Welcome back to the Midland. Uh, today's video is the um, end of the smelter build. So in the last video we built our way down to the canyon, which was actually a pretty easy build. And today we're going to make it all the way to the canyon floor and set up all the trackage here in the smelter, which was decidedly not an easy build. So if you've struggled with this one a bit, um, I completely empathize. This one took me well over three hours, and we'll run the video today. It's warp speed um, enough so, well, fast enough so we keep it under half an hour, but not so fast that it makes you barf. <laughs> And so, um, let me, uh, rather than try and explain what I was trying to do at the end of the video, let me just kind of show you what I did here real quick uh, using the map. And so, um, the other day in the other video, uh, we started up here at the yard, which is right here, built down this canyon, hugged this canyon wall right here, and then built a curve trestle right there all right and that was the end of the last video this one here um i tried to do this like three different ways i tried to go this way i tried to go this way i tried to kick out and then come back around this way and then ultimately what i ended up doing was crossing back across this valley here and then looping around down this way here and so i do have there is a segment right here where if you stand on this side of the track and look up there are one two three layers of tracks going back up towards the sawmill and so we've got two hairpin curves in here um they look pretty cool but at the same point in time this is not what i originally planned and then uh, the smelter trackage itself is another hairpin so with a return loop like that and then eventually a branch line which will go on up to the uh um the coal mine uh eventually so i'm working on that one uh kind of when i feel like building which after doing this was <laughs> several days <laughs> So, but that's uh, that's what's in the video today. Um, let me show you one other thing here, real quick. Just my kind of solution to the um, little problem here that uh, you get because these two platforms are offset. Both of these are uh, inbound cargo. One of them for iron ore, and the other one over here for cordwood. What I decided to do, since I decided to build a return loop down here, which I've seen many people on the YouTubes do, and I think it probably is one of the best ways to do this one. Um, we'll have to test it out a little bit, but um, trains come down from the sawmill. They'll go this. Uh, they'll take this leg here first, and come around the loop, and then they'll have uh, cordwood and iron ore cars on the head end. And so we'll empty the iron ore cars, then we'll cut loose. Uh, well, while well, I drag them up to here. Then we'll cut loose because we'll actually have the cordwood cars right behind the engine. Pull forward and then we'll back in with uh, three cordwood cards right here and unload them in a single move. I hope I can fit all three of them in here. I think I know I can fit two. It'd be cool if I could fit three, but I'm not quite sure. We're just going to have to test it out here in another video. And then, uh, of course, uh, the engine will uh, stick those cordwood cars back on so it'll be empty loads or um, empty uh, bulkheads and empty uh, uh, gods or ore cars hoppers there we go um, back here cut the engine loose run all the way back down there back all the way around link up to the train over here so and then it'll have the stake beds on this end and then drag over there load up and go and so i think it's it'll be a pretty easy switch job um down here uh and i don't think i'll need a separate switch engine to be able to do it i think the road engine will be able to handle all of those moves without too much trouble and so that's uh that's what i have in mind here for this smelter <laughs> build and uh hopefully maybe i gave you a couple ideas if you have any other ideas uh please drop them down there in the comments if you have any questions uh, that's the right place for those too if you like these vid videos a little bell and whistle on the youtubes would would uh not go unappreciated but at the same point in time we will be back with more of these in the near future and uh hopefully finish up that mine run which is a much less frustrating and much prettier one than this one but um this one it, it has been the most challenging and so i hope you enjoy it so regardless of that uh we'll see you all in the next video take care now bye <laughs>
Thank you.